अस्सलाम वालेकुम माय डियर स्टूडेंट्स दिस इज योर साइंस टीचर मैम शेजा बिफोर स्टार्टिंग एनीथिंग लेट्स हैव अ लुक फॉर अ मॉरल लेसन टुडे अवर मॉरल लेसन इज एज यू कैन सी हियर हजरत मोहम्मद सल्लल्लाहु अलैहि वसल्लम सेड क्लीनलीनेस इज हाफ ऑफ फेथ दिस इज व्हाई क्लीनलीनेस इज वेरी मच इंपॉर्टेंट फॉर अस सो व्हाट वी हैव टू डू we should keep our cells clean we should keep our bodies clean we should keep clean our surroundings okay we should clean our home our school our surroundings because cleanliness is half of faith now Here we can see unit number five: animals around us. As we can see, so many animals around us, different types of animals. So, my dear students, there are so many kinds of animals. Some are big, some are small, some are large, some are tall. Okay, we can see uh, some uh, dogs, cats. and i know you all must have some pets at home just like parrots cats dogs okay so today we will discuss about animals it's all about animals first of all as we know there are three living things like human beings plants and animals they all are living things so animals are also living things now what animal have what the living things need to live okay what they need air water food and shelter these are the basic needs of a living things so animals also need these all things because they are also the living things next is animals classification as animals are different okay so they are classified into different categories where do animals live some animals live on land just like cow chicken deer cat giraffe lion they are the land animals they live on land some animals are water animals or sea animals they live in a sea just like fish starfish octopus whale dolphin okay so these are the sea animals next are the birds which can fly as we know birds can fly and there are so many types of birds also so these are the air animals we can also call them air animals because they can fly next is types of animals there are two basically Uh, my dear students there are two types of animals wild animals and domestic animals domestic animals as we can see we can also take them at home just like dog cat okay and we can also keep them in a farm just like horse and cow chicken now the wild animals wild animals are very dangerous and they cannot live with us they live away from people in jungles so jungles is the place for a wild animals they live there but domestic animals can also live with us we can keep them at our homes because they are not as dangerous as wild animals animals are our friends how can they be our, our friends first of all as we know cow and goat give us milk and we can get beef and meat from these animals and we can get eggs and chicken from hen we can also play with them with our pets and we get clothes from the skin of camel sheep okay we can also use them as a transport 
okay just like here you can see horses are here and they are using for a transport now let's come on a reading animals around us unit number five page 35 start reading with me animals are living things they need water air food and shelter to live they move from one place to another to get food there are different types of animals they are of different shapes and sizes. Some are big and some are small in size. For example, elephant and giraffe are big in size. Cat and mouse are small in size. Some animals live on land, some live in water. For example, lion and camel live on land. Fish and frog live in water. Some animals live on trees, for example, monkeys and squirrels. Some animals live in forests. They are called wild animals, for example, tiger and zebra. We keep some animals at home. They are called pet animals, for example, dog and cat. Some animals are small in size and have wings to fly. They are called insects. For example, butterfly, mosquito, fly, and bee. Birds are another type of animals. They have wings to fly. Their body is covered with feathers. For example, pigeon, eagle, and crow. Next thing is type of animals, domestic and wild animals. First of all, domestic animals. Domestic animals live near us. Some of them live on farms, homes, or kennels. For example, cat lives in cat tree. The young one of cat is called kitten. Dog lives in kennel. The young one of dog is called puppy. Horse lives in stable. The young one of horse is called foal. Hens live in coop. The young one of hen is called chick. Next is wild animal. Wild animals live away from us. They mostly live in jungles. They survive by their own means like hunting, fishing or eating vegetables. Following are the few wild animals. Giraffe lives in jungle. The young one of giraffe is called calf. Lion lives in jungle. The young one of lion is called cub. Camel lives in desert. The young one of camel is called calf. Animals are our friends. Animals are also our friends. They give us food, milk, and clothes. They also help us in transportation. Animals give us milk. Cow, buffalo, camel, goat, and sheep give us milk. Milk is very important for us, which keeps us healthy and strong. Therefore, animals are our friends. Number two, animals give us meat and beef. Cow, buffalo, camel, goat, and sheep give us meat and beef. Fish is very healthy food. We get fish from rivers and sea. Hand gives us egg and meat. Therefore, animals are our friends. Next is animals play with us. The animals that we keep in our home and they play with us are called pets. For example, my cat is a pet animal. My dog is a pet animal. My parrot is a pet animal. Next is animals give us clothes. The skin, fur and wool of sheep, goat, camels and other animals used to make clothes. Animals give us transport. Many animals are used for transport. Bullocks pull the carts and help in plow. Donkeys are used to carry our luggages. We ride on horses. We ride on horses and camels to move from one place to another. Thank you so much.